Absolutely. And what the Prime Minister said is that um, one death is one death too many and that it's a, an injury to the whole of the Republic, the whole of the nation of France. Uh, he gave a 15 minute speech before he then uh, presented the Légion d'honneur onto a cushion in front of the photograph of Stephanie Montfermé. Her family is here, but they have been very much keeping, kept, kept hidden from view. Um, it really has been a terrible ordeal for them. We did see them briefly publicly on Monday when there was a short homage here in Rombouillet. But today they have been kept hidden from public view. Alain, Elodie and Anaïs, the teenage daughters of Stephanie Montfermé and her husband Alain, a baker uh, who was visited yesterday uh, for the funeral service, which was a strictly private affair by the president of France, Emmanuel Macron and his wife Brigitte. But today is about the official remembrance, if you like, of Stephanie Montfermé's uh, life of service and the fact that she gave her life in the line of duty. Although she was an administrative worker, she is being treated very much as though she died in the line of duty. Now, you may be able to hear some music right now, which you might think is a little unusual, but Stephanie Montfermé, we know, was an enormous fan of Western line dancing. And I suspect that this song has been chosen because it was one of her favorites. What a beautiful tribute it is, Emma. Now, you mentioned, of course, uh, Prime Minister Jean Castex speaking moments ago before that yesterday, Emmanuel Macron attending this very private affair, this private funeral. What's the messaging here? Because often here in France, these tens of attacks tend to get politicised, don't they? Very much so. Um, within two hours of this attack happening last week, Marine Le Pen, the leader of the uh, National Rally, as it's now called, used to be the National Front, uh, was on television talking about Islamist uh, terrorism and the fact that this was yet another example of it. And at that point, we didn't know for certain. Yes, you can make assumptions, um, but it is perhaps wrong to do so uh, politically and on television in that way. Now, Emmanuel Macron has um, kept almost to the sidelines with this because we're a year out from presidential elections and he doesn't want to be seen to be profiteering politically from, of course, this terrible tragedy. Uh, Jean Castex and the Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin were here on Friday in the wake of the attack and uh, we're getting the um, announcement now that this ceremony has now finished so people will be moving away. Um, the, a huge screen has been erected here because you, you, can't, you can't see many people here inside this square for the ceremony but there are hundreds gathered uh, just the other side of a cordon where they're watching the process at uh, this ceremony on a big screen. Uh, lots of people turning out here because it is deeply important to them. More than 1,500 people turned out on Monday for what was just five minutes really of recognition a speech from the mayor of Rambouillet, who said that the town really with this attack had lost a part of itself. She was talking about Stephanie Montfermé, but about the town itself and its spirit, because it really has been deeply shocked to the core by what's happened here. Nobody would ever have imagined that Rambouillet would be in the headlines for this kind of act of terror. And people are all the more shocked and angry because the attacker himself lived in the town, had lived here since 2015. Um, so a lot of people really struggling to come to terms with this. The investigation goes on, of course, uh, and uh, we will learn no doubt more about what happened. But uh, whatever the motivations, whatever the way in which he became radicalised, which of course authorities need to know and is so crucial to trying to stop these attacks in future, uh, none of those answers will really bring any solace to the family of Stephanie Montfermé, who had such a tragic and heinous loss. Emma James, with that update from Rambouillet for us, we'll come back to you again at 11.30 and perhaps we can talk a little bit more about the ongoing investigations surrounding this horrific attack. Emma James.